Well, good morning everybody. How are you guys doing? So to be honest, it's been about really like three months since I've been really out taking pictures like I used to. And usually like in the best of times with landscape photography, you do have days where you feel like going out to take pictures and some days that you don't. And the last three months, the not so much active lifestyle and not going out to take pictures really kind of took its toll on me and I feel like my photography has really suffered so I'm hoping that on today I can kind of redeem myself a little bit and get back into landscape photography get back into taking pictures that I really like and I'm really proud of you know but it's I'm not a robot like these things they come and go and given the situation it's been really really tough so I've come camping for a couple of nights. This is actually the first day on my third day that I actually go out to take pictures because I had a full day of rain, which really didn't amount to anything. And the first day I arrived, I pretty much just got set up, set up camp. So I'm not really looking for much. I'm looking to just get back into taking pictures and hopefully that will kind of restart this for me and restart this passion you know for landscape photography and I feel like I I'm in a spot where it's really really beautiful but it doesn't really matter where I am any place that's natural any park would do you know it's just one of those things that I just want to get back into taking pictures get back into the rhythm of it you know I mean three months is a long time to not not be engaging in, in photography and it was tough for me, you know, but the minute the parks opened, I wasn't quite feeling it, even though I was allowed to go back on hiking, taking pictures. It really didn't feel like it, to be honest. So I'm hoping that this trip will do something for me and ignite that passion again. But today is kind of my last night here. So I'm just out to photograph sunset here. I've kind of picked a good spot where I I'm on the a park called Dick National Park and it sits on the San Lawrence River, which you do get tides coming in and out. So right now I'm kind of timing it with sunset and I'm kind of in between high tide and low tide. Low tide is at like 10 p.m., sunset at 8 p.m. So I'm kind of waiting for the water to retreat further so I can actually access where I want to take my picture. But I'm hoping that the light will do what I expect it to do because if it doesn't then this won't materialize into the picture I have in my mind. The composition looks really really nice but two factors matter here. One is what the light does, second is where the tide is. And what's nice about this park you get it feels like you're at the ocean and one of my favorite features of this park is pretty much this sea stack that sits on the edge of the uh, San Lawrence River and just kind of sticks up, it's prominent and I want to take pictures of that at sunset. So I got my telephoto lens on and initially the plan was Initially the plan was that I would get a lot closer to the sea stack and photograph it with my wide angle lens but the tide is still too high, hasn't retreated enough for me to be able to get close to it so I'm gonna get as much as I can close to it and try to get the picture with my telephoto lens. So usually at low tide you can walk up right up to the edge here and kind of get really close to the edge of the sea stack and the walls. It's really interesting shapes and colors in the sea stack and just layers of... So it's really nice to photograph but that's not really happening right now so I'm just gonna take it from here and see what I can do. Oh man, despite being windy, it's really really beautiful because the sun is just kind of peeking through the clouds and hitting the sea, sea stack really nicely.
just when you think it's not gonna happen it finally kicks off just like how I like it even though I wasn't able to get closer to the sea stack to kind of initially like how I want to photograph it just from where I am I'm getting some really nice pictures and I'm just clicking away so I took a quick shot here with my telephoto lens of the tea stack really tight up close of it and it was just being sun kissed by the light and it turned out really really nice but right now I actually feel really really excited the passion is back and I see another composition of mine I'm gonna switch to my wide angle lens and try to get a few more shots here hopefully the light's still nice by the time I do that so let me get set up Oh man, I, once I got my camera set up here, try to put a filter on and within seconds that gorgeous light was gone and I missed it. Oh man, but it was still nice to see, you know. So I better pack up and head back to camp before it gets totally dark. As I was hiking back to camp, my mind kept thinking that it was my last night here and that missed opportunity to photograph that second composition really bothered me. And laying down in my tent at night, I made the call to stay an extra night in order to return to photograph that missed composition. So the following day, I returned to the same location to photograph that second composition at sunset. And even if it was only the next day, the tide had other plans. The interesting foreground that initially piqued my interest was still underwater and I couldn't really locate it. But yet there was still a lot of interesting foreground to photograph here, which meant I just had to adjust my composition based on current conditions. This time around the light was as beautiful as the day before but only lasted for a few minutes so I was really frantic and despite being ready had a few seconds really to capture this photograph which I quite love. Unlike the previous night, I was feeling very satisfied and content, so I headed back to camp, cooked a steak on the fire, and enjoyed my last night before heading back home the following day. So thank you all for coming along, and until next time, cheers.